What's going on guys, it's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. So as you guys can see by the title, I hope that this video can really guide you in the right direction. Again, this is my experience and this does not mean that this is something that's going to be able to you know, impact each and every single one of you, but I hope that it can guide each and every single one of you in the right direction. So I'm simply talking about my experience. As many of you guys know, uh, I do attend ASU and ASU Poly, uh, the Polytechnic campus. Um, I want to just go ahead and, and answer the question right away. Do you need school to be successful? Um, the answer I truly believe is I don't think you need school. Again, keyword need. You don't need school to be successful, but the opportunity that being in school offers and, and uh, I, I call it the incubator effect. And the reason that I call it that is you're surrounding yourself with a bunch of motivated individuals, depending on what university or what school you go to, but it depends on who it is that you choose to surround yourself with. Even at community colleges, I, I don't want to subjugate or minimize anything. Um, even at community colleges, there's people that are extremely motivated um, in the business world or any field that you are probably willing to you know, pursue. With that being said, it really, come down, it really comes down um, in your willpower to actually network or surround yourself with these individuals. Uh, you know, it can be sometimes a little awkward because, you know, everyone's kind of doing their own thing in college and it could be, you know, right now you might be in high school or you might be attending the university right now and, and you know, you're like, okay, well, I don't have any friends that are, you know, pursuing, you know, what it is that I want to pursue. I, I want to let you guys know, this is super dorky and this is how I met Phil. Phil's been um, one of my, he was my first friend at ASU. I met him like two days or one day after moving in. There's this application uh, that ASU has for like when, when you're, um, when you uh, just move in and I was a transfer student from California. Um, and in this application, my bio said, hi, my name is Ricky. I'm a, I believe 20 year old entrepreneur and I'm looking to network with programmers and people interested in business. That was my description. Obviously it was not the most, uh, you know, attractive description for the, for those that are trying to like, you know, seem cool or anything like that. Uh, and the reason that I put that was my purpose my goal when I came over here to Arizona was to meet people that wanted to do the same thing that I did. And I knew that there was a lot of people um, and a lot of students that were very intelligent in the fields that you know they were you know learning about, as well as you know I felt like I had the capital, right? I had the money uh, to make their dreams reality. I just wanted to partner up with as many people as possible because I felt like this is going to be it. This is where I'm going to meet someone that's smarter than I am, or someone that's going to lead me to a certain opportunity that's going to lead to my success. So, do you need school to be successful? If you go on all four years, or even if you get your doctorate or your PhD, whatever the case may be, do you need school to be successful? No, but. If you look at, if you take to into consideration like all these people that they like to um, label themselves similar to, uh, like Elon Musk, uh, you know, uh, Bill Gates, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, all these people that went to one of the most prestigious like universities, dropped out, and then made multi-billion dollar companies. I want to first let you guys know that that's not very common. I, I even want to let you guys know that my story isn't very common. Um, again, I'm not a multi-billionaire, uh, but the form of success that I've achieved at 22 is like 0.001% of, you know, what the U.S. population gets to experience. Um, and the reason that I think that I did that was because I was always so willing to set what everyone else wanted, right? Everyone else wants to like be viewed as someone cool. I feel like I'm, I'm viewed as someone that's cool now because of like my cars or my success or because of my properties um, and, and kind of the, the environment that I provide. But I, I wasn't cool in high school when I had, you know, my uh, little tech deck company, my little fingerboard company, um, and all I would do was I would go to school, go home, uh, make these fingerboards and post them for sale. You know, I was always doing something on the side uh, that was a little different, and sometimes that could be viewed as a little weird. Um, but I want to let you guys know, like, whatever it is that you guys want to pursue, it's truly up to you. Um, you know, school is a great catalyst that can really guide you and provide that structure for you to be successful. But just know that nothing, not, not even a, a full-on step-by-step course is going to guarantee you success. Nothing in this world will guarantee you success. It's actions and, and ma managing your risk along the way and learning from your experiences that will most likely lead to your success. As cliche and as, as basic as that sounds, I want you guys to know that the reason that I am successful is because I took the leap of faith moving out from California to Arizona to pursue 
purchasing my my first investment property by age 20 because I knew that the cost of living in Arizona was so much less expensive. One of the reasons that I moved to Arizona. And the second reason that I chose to move to Arizona was my acceptance to the ASU Polytechnic campus. So I knew that the ASU Polytechnic campus was where engineers and business majors were located at. And again, with that incubator effect, me being able to fully surround myself with people uh, that have similar interests with me. I found that, that that's, you know, there's, there's a lot of value in that. Again, it doesn't guarantee you anything, right? Because there's hundreds of people that do the same thing, but there's very few that have the outcome that I had. And it's just because I fully devoted all my time to work uh, and to find this opportunity that I, you know, one day hoped that can guide me in the right direction. And I actually want to quote, and this isn't going to be word by word, but it's actually a member um, that posted it. And I'm sure it's not his words. I'm sure it was um, a famous quote. So there's this quote that states, you know, uh, success is based on persistence um, and not just luck. And um, I, I agree with that. Right. But I feel like with more persistence and with someone, you know, devoting their time, um, time after time at a persistent and consistent basis, um, you know, there's going to be some lucky opportunity that's going to present itself, but because you are present and because you are persistent, you're able to take advantage of that opportunity. And that's simply what led to my success. You know, everything kind of fell into place and I couldn't have, you know, made it happen uh, that much better. So really quick, um, I moved to ASU. Um, I was here for about five months, um, three months in, I got in contact with a real estate agent started working on getting me pre-qualified for a house, started looking for a house and randomly a house popped up again, luck, but it's because I was in that market and I was being persistent. We found a house that was foreclosed, offers huge opportunity. I went ahead and I made an offer a little bit more aggressive than other people. And then I closed it, you know, 45 days later. Overall, it just, it was an amazing thing of, you know, how this, you know, chance that it took, right? To go to school, um, to come out here to Arizona and really because of the university allowed me to, as of now, live this type of lifestyle where um, it, it doesn't matter the exact figure that it is that I make, but you guys can get an example of the type of success that you know I have experienced based on the videos that I make and the different things that I own. Um, and realistically, that's more of a monetary aspect. I mean, I get to do what I love every single day. And that's the most rewarding thing. So if you're going to school to guarantee you some specific field, you know, if you work really hard at it, then it most likely will happen. But again, know that school, regardless of what it is, nothing will guarantee you anything. But the more persistent you are, and if you want to surround yourself with people that are motivated in the market that you want to invest in, and if you're willing to dedicate your time and be open-minded in everything that you choose to pursue, I think school is an amazing opportunity for people in all markets, no matter how successful you are. You have to think about Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Mark Zuckerberg Bill Gates, uh, Elon Musk. Those are individuals that are so structured and so disciplined to learn by themselves and that learn in, in, in a such you know, a huge way, right? Something that a lot of people can't really grasp. With that being said, not everyone, um, you know, is given that gift. So therefore, people like you and me have to work very hard in what it is that we want to achieve. It doesn't mean that it's impossible. It just means that we have to do everything else that no one else does. And I hope that that can guide you in the right direction. If school is not a huge drawback and if school is accessible to you and you have the opportunity to attend school with a full ride or whatever the case may be and you have the time for it, there's no reason that you should not go. If opportunity presents itself elsewhere that is much greater than what school offers, such as it did for me, because I'm currently taking the semester off, I started my company and right now I'm doing, um, you know, just with everything else that I've done, I'm, I'm doing so much better than I would if I was in school as of now, but I'm still going to finish. And that is, you know, the dedication and the determination that I gave and the commitment that I gave to myself. That a university or a college is an amazing community of people that can, I think, truly guide you in the right direction. And the opportunity that presents itself at, at in that environment is huge. And like every other successful billionaire or millionaire, you know, opportunity presents itself in many different ways. But if you're persistent and consistent, I hope that it can get you guys in the right direction. Um, so thank you guys again for watching. All the links are down below. If you guys want to be a part of my lesson library and want me as your mentor, that's going to be the first link in the description. Like always, guys, continue working hard, continue following your dreams, let your passion be what drives you in your success. And let's make sure that we're in the year on a green note. I hope this video was somewhat informative and entertaining. And like always, guys, take it easy. Gone too far? Do you detect something different? If you look.